What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Conversation Series presented by Fandoms Anonymous. Man, we have enjoyed having some of these conversations for the longest, man. I appreciate all y'all. We got to make sure we got good lighting in here. I didn't hook up my light first. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce everybody while I'm getting my lights. I got my boy Robert in here. What's going on, Robert? <laughs> Chilling, man. What's good? Robert! And we got baby Robert in the background. Hey. I got my boy Jeremy from the 2020 podcast. What's going on, Jeremy? Gang, gang. There we go. Oh, I look good. I just got that fresh cut. I got that cut that they say when you get that cut and, the, and you think you're the truth, I'm glowing right now. I'm glowing. Crispy. Crispy. Crunchy. Jessica, what's going on, Jessica? Not much. I'm excited to dive into this topic. Oh, Lord. And I got my sister, Shane. Hey, Shane. What's happening? All right, girl. All right, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. August Alstina is a prime example of the young man that when you're in school and your young and your hot teacher hitting on you, you keep your mouth closed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, <laughs> The brother said that him and Jada had relations, and we we've known for a while that that Will and and Jada have had what they've called an open relationship. I'm sorry, I don't want no open relationship. The only thing I want to open is a can of Pringles. And if you want to be open, you can open the door and walk out. Well, yeah, I don't do that type. That's nasty. That's just nasty. Then you want to come home. Okay. Anywho, we gonna get this thing started. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the females get started first. I'm, I'm gonna let Sh Shan. You've been cutting up in the group chat all day long. I'm finna let you go ahead and go with it. Let's, let me. I want to know what you think about this whole thing here. Um. Ooh. It's a lot. I think about it. Oh Lord. <laughs> Where do you want me to start? Thoughts gonna start at the beginning when from the boss said him and Jada had relations, and then Jada said no, it didn't, and he said I got the blessing like we knighted him like a knight. Yes, you may sleep with Jada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whatever Jada put on him. <laughs> Homeboy is loopy now. Really? I, I mean, from the, you know, from the round of hair to just the whole interview being, after he talked about that, that interview went, whoo, it went cuckoo. I could not, I couldn't even focus after that. Could he focus, man? It, it, right. It, it, that's him kind of, I mean, he he's still hurt. Whatever whatever that feeling is, because it's hurt and a whole bunch of other stuff. Whatever he's fit, <laughs> that just lingered on throughout the entire interview. But but I, I take your, that I take your statement of he's still hurt. How did he get hurt? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What does the hurt come in at? Like she what happened? Down. I mean, we might never know what happened. But just to answer the question, what happened, Jeremy? What? What? You? 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 you real smart. I ask you a lot of stuff to get through my life. <laughs> yeah, you always know the answer. What do you think happened to this man? I think sometimes you know the phrase "you bit off more than you could chew." Ooh. I think he thought that he was down with the poly situation, mm. and he caught feelings. Mm. And I think she let him know that no, my husband is Will. You know, you're you're just part of this partnership. And I think that destroyed him um, because when, whenever when everybody gets into a relationship and sex is involved, a little bit of your ego gets involved, too, you know, because those soul ties are real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think he signed up for something thinking in his head that he was ready for, but spiritually he wasn't. Right. And now we're seeing the aftermath of that. Right. Now, as far as him speaking out about it, Go ahead. By all means, vent, bro. Heal. Do what you got to do to get over it. But now you know. Don't step into a situation like that until you're fully mature. That boy is a baby, man. Like, that type of, yeah, like that type of poly situation. Y'all got to realize Will and Jada is like in their 50s. What, 50s Will jumped out 50 when he jumped out that plane. He had, that was his 50th So you in your 20s jumping into a relationship with a woman in her 50s who's been around here, who's been doing this poly lifestyle with Will for a minute, he, he bit off more than he could chew, man. And that interview showed it. Like Shan said, he went all over the place. And he's still hurting. And he's he going to have to heal. But I think when he he just jumped in at an early age, he ain't know no better. He just saw an opportunity of a fine woman that he could be with. He was with something. And um, it just came back to bite him. 
And see, he's, he, I, I just looked it up. The man, 27 years old. I, I yeah, would think you've him. been through enough relationships to have understanding. And maybe this is different with an older woman. I've always said I wanted a cougar because, you know, I don't, I don't do too much ripping and running in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Cougars, they don't either. They just want to sit at home, watch the episodes of Paternity Court, Oh. <laughs> get some barbecue, Dang, lake, right. get some barbecue some chips. Cougar. <laughs> some cougar. Some cougar. They, they, they just want to chill. Yeah. You know what I'm I'm about to I like to chill. They don't oh. cougars don't just go to Pensacola Beach. They go to the Bahamas. I want to go to the Bahamas. I've already been to Pensacola Beach. I want to go ex- on excursions, not trips across the bay. You know what I'm saying? I think I would fit real good in that lifestyle. I can cut grass. I can cook. I can fry seafood really well. I can grill. That's all they want. They want to be able to eat, sleep, and do you know what. That's it. Let me ask Anyone you something else? real quick. I hate to interject. Let me ask you something real quick. Ask me. Ask me. Do you think that's what's got them messed up? You got your older woman who can show you the world and more. Uh-huh. And you got attached to her. And you find out at the end of the day, nah, she's still loyal to Will. See that? I see, think that's he, what he should have learned. Learned. He, the Rock said a long time ago in the late nineties, early two thousands, know your role. And apparently, he didn't know his role no more. Robert, I, <laughs> you, you know, I know you finna get ignorant. That boy Come has on. been through so much. Though. Right, he's been that's through so much. Yeah. At the age of twenty seven, he is not mentally okay. Yeah. Mm-mm. and she knew that. Mm-hmm. Going she, into what she did, she knew that. And she's huh. smart enough to know that somebody who has been through that kind of trauma is not ready for no relationship that she was taking him on. Right. At some point, she was old enough and, and mature enough to know, hey, I might be in a little too deep with this young man. And, and, and see, y'all, y'all welcome Aiden to the ch- childhood, friend. We've been, we've been um, since we was like two and <laughs> one and all that good stuff. Shane, go ahead. Back in the day. Go ahead, Shane. Oh, I was trying, I was wanting to make a note that she called him at a very vulnerable point in his life because yeah. he was kind of just starting his career. If you go back to the Red Table Talk when she did, when they did the interview, they met not too long after he had his um, his accident on stage. And then he had that autoimmune disease. He got hooked on purpose. And that's when she came in. Mm. I really think, you know, it may have been uh, you know, kind of a a, di- a different kind of bond at first, right? And then it went into that, and so that it got a little deeper after that. But she caught him at a very vulnerable point, yep. mind you, in his early twenties. Um, in his, you know, when his early twenties, when they when they met, and then he's out here in the entertainment industry. You know, you already got plenty of people in your ear, and then you then you find out you you know you have this autoimmune disease. You fall out on stage and. You're in a coma for three days and all of this good stuff. Mm-hmm. And Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what you gonna do? Well, now, <laughs> let me let me ask you this. And after this, I want to hear what Robert got to say. Do you think he do you think he was looking for a mama or a, a relationship? Like I think it was both. I feel like he was looking for all that. He was looking for a mama, looking for a soulmate, looking, looking to be all that stuff, but he didn't even know that he was just a side piece. Like, come on, bro. Like, that was the most light-skinned in his ass shit. Just to say, man, I fell in love with her. I I, I thought she was the one for me. All this stuff. Like, come on, bro. Play your role. Like, if anything, like, niggas is supposed to know they role. Females do it better than dudes do. I swear to God. That, like, if they decide peace, they know they decide peace. But yeah. he got so caught up in his emotions and feelings and stuff like that that he fell in love with them. See, so, that's, that's what happened to light skins. He came out and did this, though. You know, he made a song last year about mm-hmm. And then he ended up denying that it wasn't. He let it linger for like two days, and everybody was like, "Oh, that's about Jade." I mean, he even had like, like a kind of an image of her in his in his visual. He had made reference to her because he used her middle name and lyrics and all of that kind of stuff. It's right. not the first time it's been said, right? You know? And then he went and he denied it. This time he's like, "Oh yeah, we did." 
See, all this is new to me because I don't follow the boy. You know what I'm saying? I, I know of him. I know he was sick at one point, all that good stuff. But I, I had been following him to know that he been involved with Jada. Jada about people. Because I guarantee you right now, you see that door right there? Gabrielle Union walked through that door. I don't call her Wade because she is Gabrielle Union always to me. If she walked through that door and said, I've left my lesbian looking husband and I want you, I'm going to hang up this computer. Y'all can sit here and talk amongst yourselves and you will never hear from me again until she let me loose. And when I come back, y'all rich and famous, you, and you ask me what happened, I'm going to be, I don't know. I, I wasn't with Gabrielle. I was, I was here, here in my house. I'm not going to say nothing. You don't kiss and tell. You don't get to jail. You know what I'm saying? But nobody's gonna come to Albert Alcina's defense. Like the boy needed help. He yep. lost his brother, his yep. sister. He took on two kids that weren't his own. And what he is, yeah. He, he's sick. He can't hardly even take care of the kids he took on. Like right. he has been through a lot at 27. I'm 28. If all that happened to me, I would have been extreme. All of my market, and if some man who forty some years old came and prayed on me, it'd be a different story. Because if this had been a a woman, a man doing this to a woman, we'd be like, "Oh, you nasty! Oh, you trifling! Oh, you don't do nothing like that! That's That's you're a pedophile! You're a pedophile!" You're a pedophile. Yeah. Yeah. But because it's Jada Pinkett Smith, everybody like, "Oh, he had Jada because she fine. She fine. She gonna always be fine." Obviously, she fine and respect. That was the about it. Matter of fact, people got mad at him. I'm saying that is predatory behavior. How dare you tell you got hurt by Jada? How dare you? Right. <laughs> that's still predatory behavior that she's displaying. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. is. There is a double standard that exists. Yeah. Unfortunately. Go ahead, Jessica. I want to hear I'm glad, you, I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think there's several layers to this to unpack. The first thing, I'm going to be very honest with you. When I first heard about it, I wasn't surprised. Mm. Um, there have been rumors for years that they've had in open marriage. Um, to my understanding, they've never necessarily confirmed or denied that. They've mm -hmm. just kind of alluded to certain practices within their marriage. So when I heard it, I wasn't surprised. And the other reason I wasn't surprised, to be honest, y'all, I think I've honestly become desensitized to these types of practices within people's marriage. Um, per it wouldn't work for me personally, but I'm so desensitized to couples having threesomes, uh, BDSM, swinging with midgets on the weekend. Like, I'm just so, I mean, like, people get into oh. some different <laughs> stuff <laughs> within their relationship. So I'm just kind Wait, of just, just, I'm so it. sorry, pause. The, old, the image I have right now is people swinging around with midgets. Listen, <laughs> listen, people have some, some different things that they get into, and I've gotten to the point, I'm just like, okay, that's okay. That's okay. what you're into, that's what you're into. Um, but, so I've gotten desensitized in terms of that. I definitely agree with Adrian and the fact that he clearly has gone through a lot for his age. Like, that's, that's a lot. I'm only a year older than him, and I can't even imagine having gone through all of, half of what he's mm. gone through and still standing. So, I do think that it appears that if this is true, which, you know, is I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm just going to say if. Right. Um, Jada definitely, if she was going to step out, I think it would have been wiser to select someone that was more mentally stable, mm -hmm. mentally and emotionally stable. Who would you um, put in that spot? What'd you say? Who, if you had to pick a Hollywood celebrity along the lines of August, who would you put in that spot? Uh... If I were Jada, um, and a, like a young guy, mm -hmm. it, somewhere probably around. like a, uh, maybe like Chadwick Boseman, uh, Kendrick, <laughs> the guy from uh, Insecure, like the light skin. I like him. I think Chadwick. Mm -hmm. I, I've always thought he was cute. Um, Kendrick Sampson, I think that's his name. The guy from Insecure that played right. Nathan. Like, that's, you know, just throwing those out. Yeah, but yeah. I definitely think if she were going to do it, she should have selected someone that were more mentally stable. Knowing what all they have at stake in terms of their public image, I think that they should have probably signed an NDA so it didn't get out there. Mm. Um, legalize it. Yeah, yeah, legalize it. 
Um, I'm interested to see who's going to red table talk Jada. I think she's going to red table talk herself. Okay, <laughs> yeah. She yeah. said some healing needs to happen. She's going to the Will table. Smith. She's going to the table. <laughs> nah. I think, my thing about that, you were just said about the NDA, I'm sure that there is a line of men who have signed one of those with Jada because this mm-hmm. has been going on since mm-hmm. I was yeah, 13 years true. old. When I first heard about Jada and Will swinging around doing all that, swinging with bitches on the weekend, I don't know if that's what they do, but if that's what they do, that's what they do. Uh-uh, I'm not swinging so I was weekend. like 13 when I heard that the first time. So I'm pretty sure that there is a line of men who have signed the NDA. What was the difference between them and August Alcina? Like why did she have a she yeah. she saw it's obvious that she saw a a notion of this is a a, a young man that needs help. Let me help, swing, right? Let me swing I, in here and and nurture him, mm-hmm. and it just went too far. Jeremy, I know when you had that look on your face, you got uh, something turning. Go you got ahead. the magical box. <laughs> That's all I got to say. No, she got bro, I just, I'm gonna be real with you. Um. I'm all for him speaking his truth. And I understand what everybody's saying about Jada taking advantage of the situation. But you can't have sex unless it's two consenting people. I know he wasn't in the right place, but that's a whole grown man, y'all. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I know he ain't make the best decision, but y'all, we can't absolve him of him agreeing to do this. Yeah. That's that's the part I'm having difficulty with. I think everybody. But if he was a woman, because if, if it was, he a, was a woman, um, it was a different. Yeah. yeah See, I don't right. think we're necessarily absolving his part in it. I agree with what you're saying, Jeremy. But I think the point that we're trying to bring out is that clearly, yes, he consented to it. But just because you consent to something doesn't mean that you're mentally capable of understanding everything because think about it your frontal vortex doesn't fully develop until you're 25 and Mm -hmm. if i'm understanding the the timelines that i've heard and i could be wrong he was not at that age when they yeah exactly when they started whatever it was their whatever you want to call their relationship situation whatever whatever it was he wasn't at the point where he could fully make sound rational decisions and then you add on you add on his youth and then you add on everything that he's gone through in life Mm -hmm. i think he was vulnerable so i think yeah 100 percent, he consented to it but i i do agree with you ladies points in the fact that if this were a situation with a man or a woman Mm -hmm. if we were talking about a russell simmons let's just be honest yeah you know he would which it doesn't negate wrong it just it's just still it's just wrong. I'm gonna just say it. It's just wrong. And, and it's to wrong add, to take advantage of somebody for your benefit. And to add what you were saying, Jeremy, you de- you absolutely right. And I'm gonna let you get back to your point too, Jessica. You're right too. If just if I take your point where you said just because you are of age doesn't mean you mentally prepared. Because I truly believe that the drinking age should be moved up to 25. Because everybody mm-hmm. that hits 21 should not be able to buy alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> you I, know, see, I, I can see your point with that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. everybody should not. Everybody who hits twenty one should not be able to buy alcohol because m- most people who hit twenty one is like, oh, I'm twenty one. I father buy liquor. Now I'm just gonna go around being drunk. <sighs> and I see. I and, and 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 everybody different. Me when I hit twenty one, I was like, hmm, I can go out and buy some liquor now. I'll, right. I'll go and purchase a bottle of Malibu, and I shall sit home and play video games and. Watch car. Everybody else, I run in the streets. I want to get drunk. Robert, Robert, you know, we, you, 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 with me, you was with us. We would be at the house. We, 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 the street. we ain't hitting the streets. We at the house sipping out of Kool Aid, mixing Malibu with Kool Aid. But, Jeremy, get, go ahead and go back to your point, Doc. Oh, no, nah, man. I'm just, uh, I, 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 I'm going to say I agree with everybody's point today. It's just, I, and, and I'll be candid. I'll be 100% candid. Malcolm, you and I have had this conversation before. I was in this position before. Mm-hmm. I've been in a poly relationship before. I've been uh, groomed by a cougar when I went to college, when I was a freshman. So I'm going to tell you the conversation that was had with me. Because, yes, I wasn't fully developed. But my brother, also, when I told him what was going on, he said, you have sense. And you know when you're playing with fire, you're going to get burned. Mm-hmm. 
So as much as I feel sorry for them, at the same time, it's like I'm 50-50 split. It's like, yeah. man, that's that's messed up. But man, you know what you was getting into. Mm-hmm. But right. man, that's messed up. But man, you knew what you was getting into. Right. So, so I'm, was, I'm torn. What, I'm, what was that conversation that was had? How was it? Was it ground rules laid down? Like, all right, this is what it is. It started out like this. Um, me being in a totally different city, being in Huntsville, not having any, like, financial support for real, for real. Right. She helped me out. She uh, brought me food, brought me over to wash clothes, and just slowly instill trust. Conversations. Uh, to let me know if I needed anything, she'd be there. And then a proposal was brought up. And then I'm looking at myself like, yo, I'm 19. I'm, I'm, about, I'm having sex with a woman. I ain't going to say her age, but I'm having a woman, having sex with a woman who's twice my age. I'm that nigga. That's what you think. It's that, that pride in you. And you like, when you get down to it and those feelings develop and she hits you with that skirt, you know what I'm saying? You like, damn, she did, she did tell me right. this was the contract she laid for me that this is all it was. I just fucked up. Excuse my language. But no, you yeah. good, you good, dog. I mean, and, and I'm the type of person, I know how I get with with being in, in, with emotions. Jeremy, you know, we had Robert, you I've been around all y'all been robbing long enough. I, I get involved. You know what I'm saying? So I, I as as much as it, I talk shit and they're like, oh yeah, give me a cougar. I don't she gotta be an unmarried cougar. She gotta be a, a, a divorced cougar who who don't who already been through some bullshit. I, you know what I'm saying? And and it's just, she got the, all the African paintings on the wall. I just had this all in my head, y'all. Don't pay me no attention. <laughs> <laughs> trying to tell us something, Uncle? You said what now? Trying to tell us something? Uh, no, I ain't trying to tell you. You, you, know, you, know, you, know, most, you know most women over from Automobile, all of us are from, from the area, are over the age of 45, got some African paintings on the wall, burgundy <laughs> curtains, and, and gold accents on the dinner, dining room table. You tell me I'm not lying. No, not, nobody <laughs> on there. <laughs> tell me I'm not lying. <laughs> I have a point. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Go ahead, Shan. No, I was saying you might have a point. You might. Hey, hey, I plan to ain't all ATs got it. So, so Adrian, <laughs> looking at and, and I'm gonna, not Adrian, but Jessica, excuse me. Um, mm-hmm. August, I seen this from the New Orleans area, okay? Mm-hmm. You currently live in New Orleans. Do you see that type of stuff going on in New Orleans? Like the older women, you know, taking the, the young men? Is, is that something you can, is, is that something, you know, taking, and, and the reason I'm using New Orleans as an example, of course, like I said, he's from there. So yeah, yeah. he's of a certain mindset and persuasion. Is that something that you see? You know what? That's not something that I have witnessed personally. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes on and I just don't know about it. Right. But yeah, I I don't know. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Right. I right. definitely wouldn't be surprised. Um, I wouldn't the another reason I say I wouldn't be surprised is because New Orleans culture is very similar to Mobile's in the sense of if you're born there, if you're born and raised there, you may or may not go away for college, but you usually end up staying there and Mm -hmm. marrying someone from there Mm -hmm. and your family is all here. You have kids and raise them here. So I think sometimes when that happens and you know, you've known this person forever, I think, the younger you get with someone, usually it's like you tend to want to venture out. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if that goes on. Is And to go each to one of y'all individually, Shan, is this something that you've seen? Of course, you got to name no names, but is, is this something you've seen in your personal life or like people you know or people you know of? Uh, as far as poly or open relationships? Is that Not what you're asking? Open relationships, but just taking the Jada in August. You know the the older woman and the younger male. Yes, I've okay. seen that. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I, I've I've never come across it in, unless it's somebody I know that's got their mouth closed, which you should. Yeah, you yeah. have. You just didn't notice it. That that yeah, what I'm saying. Have. I just didn't notice. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna give you an example. There was a recent meme of a gentleman doing a test. He got dressed up. He went downstairs, and in the caption said, "My mom and her friends are drinking. Watch this." He went oh, downstairs. Yep, yep, 
that listen to me listen to me that's more than what you think it is yeah mm-hmm. that is way more than what you think it is that's not just hey you cute no nah, i've heard women say girl when he get older he gonna be something yep. uh-huh bruh it's it's more to that you've seen it malcolm it's a lot of it going on it's a mm-hmm. lot of it going on well that's that that been blind to it and that's so problematic. I'm sorry. I, I appreciate y'all being can- very candid tonight, but I do I don't think it's fair how I've heard some men say me too ain't for me too. And I mm. think that as women, we need to make it okay to have more conversations like this. Because mm-hmm. predatory behavior, Adrian, I'm so glad you brought that up at the get, at the beginning of this conversation. Because we were all, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I was ready to just be messy and talk about some memes and laugh a little bit. And you were like, mm-hmm. um, skirt, this is problematic. And yeah. it's like, damn, you're right. Like, it's, it's yeah, we can kiki about some tweets and stuff. But, like, this really is problematic. Yeah. And, like, mm-hmm. Jeremy, Malcolm, y'all, if y'all have been seeing that and if you all have experienced that, like, that's not cool if you 14 and you around your mama's homegirls and they tell my girl he gon' he can get it we like no like that's that's so problematic that's yeah. not okay but Malcolm, to go back to that question a different conversation if the table yeah. for it'll be a different conversation if you're if yes. some girl, if a, if your dad's homeboys and like oh she cute you already it's gonna be a problem mm-hmm. dad's flashing out yep because i mean but, i ain't gonna lie i I've I haven't been in a relationship with an older female, but I know even when I was younger, high school and all that, uh hair get a fresh haircut. And, and I'ma tell y'all the, the biggest place where this happens at. Y'all gonna y'all I know y'all believe it. It church. happens at the church. Yeah. That's the biggest place yeah. it happened. Cause I was I was a respectable young man. I played drums for the youth choir. I had good grades. I helped clean up, you know, there. Oh, okay, hey, Malcolm, hey. Hey, how you doing? All right. You know what I'm saying? Getting pa- full pans of macaroni and cheese made for me, you know what I'm saying? So, all, <laughs> all, all the, you know what I'm saying? But but then the, the thing where it goes into young men and where it's implanted is that's cool. That's a good yeah. if you got somebody to holler at you, cool. Now, right. I ain't gonna lie. I, you, <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Hello, you know, just keeping it real. Just keeping it real. 